all right i already set the real flow file so let's go through it so first of all import the x i already did this and for that just go to geometry then import and import this x all right now after that just go to scale option and make the geometry scale 1 10 is the default value so just reduce it make it 1 then create one sphere from this geometry option object menu just select sphere and animate it like uh, this all right so let me show you how i did this just uh, select sphere all right increase the size make it to okay now on frame 0 just uh, set the position all right and then go to frame 30 and change the position make it 15 again right click on it and select add key then go to frame 60 go back to our previous position and again hit the add key so you can see the animated sphere all right so this is a very simple step then uh, it's time to create our fluid emitter so go back to show grid fluid emit fluid menu and select emitter all right so as soon as you hit the emitter button you can see one select element window here you can select the sphere which we have already created and then press ok so you will get the sphere in the emitter option all right now change the parameters of emitter like uh, turn on this stream make it yes then initial speed make it 15 all right now go back to fluid domain and here you can see i already set the fluid parameters like resolution density viscosity and compressibility all right so after this we have to add one daemon which is gravity so go to show daemon menu and select gravity all right so you can see over here gravity and increase the strength make it 98 9.8 is the default value so just increase it make it 98 and after finish this all the modification just hit the simulation button all right so hit the simulation button and you will get this final output after two hours or two and a half hour so till then just take a rest <laughs> so hit the simulation button all right yes so after finish the simulation it's time to give it some mesh all right so for that select the sorry not select the just go to show mesh menu then select particle mesh render kit all right so you can see one option over here then just right click on it and select insert emitters now just select grid fluid emitter and hit ok all right so i already did this all right now just select the particle mesh and change the parameters in node params like uh, mesh type then polygon size smoothness surface proximity all right now select the grid fluid emitters and change the field parameters like radius subtractive field so these are some minor changes in mesh and after that just select particle mesh and hit the build meshes all right so it will take around half an hour so after this you will get the proper liquid mesh so let's see how it looks yeah i already simulate these meshes so let's see how it looks 
Yeah, it looks perfect. What do you say? <laughs> so here we finish our real flow file setup. Now let's go back to our 3D application, which is 3ds Max to render this mesh. So let's move ahead.